History was made on today's date. Stay tuned for an American Minute with Bill Federer. He was sentenced to be a galley slave on a French ship, but after several grueling years, he escaped and came back to Scotland to preach. He confronted Mary, Queen of Scots, and so convincingly evangelized that by the year 1560, the Scottish Parliament established Presbyterianism as the national faith. His name was John Knox, and he died this day, November 24, 1572. One of his descendants was Reverend John Witherspoon, who signed the Declaration of Independence and was president of Princeton, teaching many of America's founders. John Knox stated, a man with God is always in the majority. This has been an American Minute with Bill Federer. For a free transcript, call American Minute at 1-888-USA-WORD. This is Ron Ross with Powerful Seniors. Seniors realize American history is being ignored and erased. The Bible compels us to do something about it. It says, teach what you've seen and heard to your children and grandchildren. Please share this video with your family and friends and encourage others to join Powerful Seniors.